Joseph Pizza, welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Shishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Millionaire gets finessed by OnlyFans model. <laughs> Must see. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Woman says her boyfriend lavished her with more than a million dollars in gifts. He did buy me a lot of gifts every time that, you know, he would want to take me to Chanel or anything, you know, he would spend over $100,000. At a single time? Mm -hmm. When 26-year-old Stephanie grew Zansky met 59-year-old Stephen Klubeck. She considered him quite a catch, despite their age difference. Wait, hold on, how old was she? My bad. Didn't hear that. Go back a little bit. When 26-year-old Stephanie Grzanski met 59-year-old okay. Stephen Klubeck, she considered him quite a catch, despite their age difference. Klubeck is worth an estimated $100 million. I, I, bet, he, I bet he was a catch. <laughs> uh, ask her what quality she uh, appreciates about him. A fortune he made in the timeshare industry. I'm Stephen J. Klubeck, chairman and CEO of Diamond Resorts. Nine years ago, he appeared on Undercover Boss. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm Sarah. He became obsessed with me and wanted to marry me. But their relationship soured, and now the multimillionaire wants all his gifts back. Klubeck says he fell in love with Stephanie, but now he says he feels duped. Little did I know that while I was working in my various homes, and my children were in the home and my employees, she was shooting in the bathroom and putting it on OnlyFans. <laughs> what the F, man? Listen, if you guys didn't hear what he said, he said she was shooting P-O-R-N because I know my editor is going to block that out. She was shooting P-O-R-N in the bathroom and he had no idea. This man's like 60 years old. I mean, <sighs> simping, man. Drink the coffee. Drink the coffee. Listen, coffee is for all ages. Except, you know, you probably don't want kids drinking coffee. It would just be too much for them. Too much truth. They got to, you know, they're, they're, they're okay. They can live in a fantasy land. But this man in his 60 years of age gets duped by an OnlyFans model. This is why when I talk about guys who are out here paying for the cheeks, guys who are out here paying for sex, those two types of guys very much do exist. He's the second type of guy I talk about in a lot of these situations. The guy who actually thinks a 26-year-old woman who's as hot as she is, actually loves him. He fell in love. Like, where, where do these guys, where do these guys come from who can sit there and convince themselves that an IG model who looks like this chick, I mean, she looks like a social media Instagram chick. If I would say there's a woman going around tricking men into giving her lots of money, her face, like, makes sense for that role. This is completely and entirely his fault. Completely and entirely his fault. How are you falling in love with this? This is the problem man, with not understanding the game. And a lot of these guys who have money, they just don't get it. They think money is the great equalizer or they lead with their wallet. There are guys out here who have money who understand that, hey, I know why you're here. I know you don't love me. I know we have an agreement. Doesn't mean he treats her horribly. He just understands what it is. He's not going to be heartbroken and crying um online and um what's what's really funny about this is if this was a man now it's a netflix documentary and we have the tinder swindler but hey that's the reality of things and you gotta live in reality you can't be out here getting got by these women they're not going to look at her as someone who took advantage of a senior citizen as a man you will always be held accountable let's check out a few of these comments see what the people have to say oh and, and also on the coffee pod you know we'll also hold you accountable don't do that let's check out a few of these comments first comment here from a gentleman says money doesn't change the rules i like that a lot so much so that i think i might steal that money doesn't change the rules i like that i like the way that was said another comment here from somebody else says damn she effed the bag up being too greedy 10 likes and someone else responded back to that guy and said exactly my first thought yeah, she wasn't happy with going out and having all these shopping sprees, but she also wanted to do um, OnlyFans on the side. Can you blame her that she's trying to run up the bag on a simp? No. Now the comment here says, don't trick up now. That's how you found her. With 10 likes, another person here says, dude, you simp, charge it to the game. Nine likes, another person responded back to that guy and says, you see the face he had when he sipped that wine? The game has 
been billed. <laughs> that man is stressing. Another comment here from somebody else says, bro, you knew it already. Come on. But he didn't. He didn't. Guys, listen to me. There are actual guys out here who would fall in love with strippers, fall in love with IG models. And I mean, with lots of money and believe that like you are with me because you love me. They exist. They're out here. Actually believe this shit will blow your mind. Will blow your mind. This is no different from the women who um, all claim to be tens. And we know like you're, you're not a 10, but you're claiming to be a 10. And they believe it. Like you could tell. And you're just like, whoa, yeah, men can be delusional too. Another comment here from another woman says, tricks always want to cry when they don't get their way. He knew she was a tramp star when he met her. That's what he loved about her. F out of here, she says. Another comment from another gentleman says, my God, a sucker is born every 30 minutes. Somebody else here added, she was just working you and putting in more work. Love her work ethic. Hey, one thing you have to give her credit for is she's getting to that bag, right? Fast, not slow. Another comment here from another woman says, I don't know, that was kind of stupid. Like you fumbled the bag to make an OnlyFans post. Greed will have you doing some dumb shit. Should have been up under that trick, tapping into his mental, trying to get more. Could have did that OnlyFans shit on her own time, but to each his own. So um, she's like, hey, get in that man's mind. Make that man fall in love with you. Have that man's baby. All right. Listen, curious to know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. As always, I appreciate you for checking out another episode of The Coffee Pod. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.